got myself <laughs> lights that change this color and no one will stop me. This is the best purchase I've ever made. I'm in love with this. Hi everyone, welcome to a weekend reading vlog because for the first time in a while I have almost an entire weekend free and I just want to spend the time chill and calm and have a lot of time to read. Just some me time, you know, some me time and I'm now gonna make it us time by making a video about it. I already started the day with some croissants and some yogurt, with blueberries, which was amazing. And tomorrow I actually plan on going to the bookstores because I haven't been to a bookstore in almost six months. But recently the lockdown in the Netherlands lifted and I just wanna know what it feels like again to just peruse through books and just enjoy that feeling of being surrounded by books in a bookstore so i'm very excited for that and of course i'm gonna take you guys with me oh let me show you what i'm currently reading oh let's change the color to match the cover of the book oh yeah that's cool or maybe this yeah that's better oh i love this i'm currently reading the invisible life of Addie larue took me a little while to get into i'm gonna say like the first 100 pages i thought were kind of boring but currently i'm like super into the story and i can't wait to read more i just want to finish like the few tasks i have for this weekend so i don't have to think about them the rest of the weekend so that's what we're gonna do first and then it's chill time Okay, I want to update you guys on a thing that I'm gonna try to do today for the first time. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know that I love the game Stardew Valley and something I've always wanted to try out is streaming, you know, like streaming gameplay. So, you know, since I have the day off, I thought, why not try to do a stream? So I just moved around like my table. Um, this table moves around my room a lot, so, like sometimes it's like flush against the wall sometimes it's like in a more like open diagonal stance like this and for the stream i decided to put it like this again so i have more light coming into my face anyway that doesn't matter so i made a super super amateur streaming setup <laughs> look at this <laughs> there's so many cables this is my new laptop on which i can game and then i'm using my old laptop to look at the stream and the chat and it's propped up on some science books. Professional. I will admit that I'm a little bit scared, like doing live things always makes me super anxious because, you know, like when I do this, I can edit it, but streaming is just live, like right there. And it, I don't know, it always like makes me super anxious, but I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna try it anyway, even though um, I've been putting it off for a very long time because it scares me, so. But now, before that starts, I'm gonna do this in the afternoon. I have some time left now to read. I'm gonna be reading The Invisible Life of Adia LaRue. Look at that light. It's so cool. Anyway, <laughs> so the thing with The Invisible Life of Adia LaRue is this is kind of like the magnum opus of V. Schwab, who's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> favorite characters? She's not a character, she's an author. <laughs> v. Schwab is one of my favorite authors and I'm about halfway through now. And I'm gonna admit, like, when I first started reading this, like, the first 100 pages, I wasn't super impressed. Like, I found that it was kind of boring, especially the whole story revolves around Eddie LaRue, who is cursed to live forever, but everyone she meets will forget her the moment that they, like, turn their head away and don't see her anymore. So no one ever remembers her, so she can't make, like, any meaningful relationships with anyone, which is a super interesting concept. But it does also mean that the entire story revolves around Eddie. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't find her a very interesting main character, especially not for a book that is literally about one person. But 
I will say if you're reading this and the first 100 pages are also not really getting you, it gets better because now I am super into the story. The moment that she meets one particular other character, the story kind of comes to life because this other main character is way more interesting than Addie. <laughs> But yeah, I'm excited to keep reading now. And I've been listening to the audiobook and like switching it up with reading the physical book. And that works really well with this book because it's like a very narrative story, if that makes sense. It's not very based on visuals like fantasy. So it works very well as an audiobook. Like someone's just like telling you their life story. I've just been switching it up so I can take in more of the story. Like if I'm cooking, I can listen to the story. If I'm walking to the groceries, I can listen to the story. But now when it's like raining outside, I can snuggle up on the bed and read the physical book. So this is like the perfect way to like fully immerse me into this book and I'm having a good time. So now I'm just gonna chill and read a bit before we start the stream. <laughs> What about this? Party. Gonna stick with purple? I like purple. What I was going to say is I kind of forgot to mention, but my housemate joined this like meet and greet, online meet and greet thing for Shadow and Bone, which is basically like, you know, a Zoom call with like thousands of other people where you can submit questions to the cast. And she was like, do you want to like, you know, join in <laughs> as I joined that zoom call and I was like hell yes so I sat next to her and watched it and it was really fun like obviously it's not like a real meet and greet where you feel like you're meeting a person it felt more like I was watching a live show or something but it was still really cool and I just love that cast so much <laughs> and I'm just still in love with the whole Grishaverse and all that and like my whole obsession that I had when I was 16 years old <laughs> is still there and honestly I think tomorrow if I'm gonna go book shopping oh I'm so excited I think if I can find King of Scars I might read it because I've been seeing more people starting to read that series now and I've been hearing a lot of good things and I held off this new series in the Grishaverse for a very long time because I honestly thought I wouldn't really enjoy it. I've been hearing some good things. I do would like to see just any anything, any little bit more of Grisha content. So if I find that book, maybe I might buy it. I'm not sure yet. Maybe Maybe I'm gonna find another book that I would rather read, but who knows? Oh, the stream was like a lot of fun, by the way. The Stardew Valley stream, I'm definitely gonna do that more often. It just felt very cozy and very much kind of like a small little community that we had going on during that stream. I wanna get up early tomorrow so I can go to the stores without it being too busy. morning it's very sunny outside like at first it was raining but now it's really beautiful weather so that's perfect my plan was to be ready to go to the city center at like 11 in the morning or potentially earlier so i could you know avoid the biggest crowds but it's currently a quarter to 11 <laughs> Because I spent way too much time just trying to find an outfit to wear. I'm kind of at that point where I don't like any of the things in my closet. And for some reason, I don't, I'm sure maybe some of you have this as well. If I go somewhere for the first time in like a very long time, I really want to have like a nice outfit and do like nice makeup. Just anything that makes me feel like I'm doing something different 
from what I usually wear and do when I'm just in my home the whole time. So now just going to a bookstore feels like a trip that I need to dress up for, <laughs> which uh, it's kind of weird probably that in order for me to feel like I've kind of like taken care of myself is to just adhere to beauty standards, I guess. I don't know what to do with that thought, honestly. <laughs> I ended up with this weird shirt over shirt combo, but it actually looks pretty cool, I think. <laughs> so the plan of action today is to go to the bookstores, enjoy all the books, <laughs> but I don't have anything in mind, which is exciting. Like it's been a very long time since I've been to a bookstore with just nothing in mind, nothing specifically that I would like to buy, except for maybe King of Scars, but we'll see. Maybe there's just a wild card, something else that captures my attention, who knows. To me that's like the fun thing about going to bookstores that you don't have with ordering online is you just see what's there. Oh. Croissants. Don't judge me, okay? They come in a pack of four, so I just have to eat croissants two days in a row. Just gonna listen to the audiobook of Ellie LaRue while I have breakfast. Because that's a lot easier than trying to read the physical book while I eat. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go! When I was walking outside, I was pleasantly surprised by how tranquil it was. Like, there was not a soul on the streets. But after a while of not seeing any other people outside, I got a bit suspicious. Something felt off. And then I arrived at the bookstore. <laughs> I forgot the shops don't open until noon on Sundays. And I still had about an hour of time to fill before the store opened, so I decided to get my fave drink, bubble tea. I decided to go back home <laughs> to switch my jacket because it was actually really warm and I got bubble tea. Oh, this one's really sweet. Um, but now it's almost 12 o'clock. <laughs> so I'm going back now and then the stores will be open, hopefully.
Hello. I'm super tired. I forgot how tiring it is to go to the stores. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it wasn't a huge success book finding wise. I mean, I loved being in the bookstores again. I loved browsing between all the books and just, ah, it was so great. But my goal was to just kind of like look around and like find the book that I'd heard of a bit that I'm like interested in buying and that didn't happen like almost all of the books that I could think of that I really would feel like reading right now I couldn't find anywhere like, like even King of Stars none of the stores had it and then there were books that I was kind of interested in but then they only had the sequels <laughs> and not the first book in the series but I did end up buying one book that I am really excited about it's just not a book that I feel like reading right now. Let me just show you which book I bought. <laughs> it is A Neuromancer by William Gibson. A Neuromancer by William Gibson. <laughs> I've been wanting to read this book for a pretty long time. It's like a classic cyberpunk and I saw it in the bookstore and I was like, I mean that's great. I'm not really in the mood to read this right now. I'm in the mood for something a little bit lighter a little bit easier but i was like you know what i'm just gonna put it on my physical tpr so that whenever the interest in this book strikes i can just pick it up because i know that it's, it's a classic so i'll always want to read it even like a few years from now you know it's like foil but it's purple i like that i'm gonna see how far i can get in the invisible life of eddie larue i really went really fast this weekend like honestly reading the physical book and listening to the audiobook is amazing to get quicker through books so we'll see how far we can get before the weekend is over hi i forgot to film my outro so i'm filming that now <laughs> i think i ended up being around two thirds of the way into the invisible life of adi larue i'm really liking it i really loved reading it this weekend and i'm not sure yet what i'm gonna read next i'm really in the mood for something just like easy and fluffy a y fantasy or a romance book somewhere it's like so weird it's just like i'm pretty sure like romance is a super popular genre but if you go into any dutch bookstore there's not even a shelf for romance it's just not a thing and it makes me very sad <laughs> anyway i really hope you enjoyed this little weekend reading going to the bookstore vlog and i will see you soon in another video Goodbye.